Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and this is part two of my two-part Dimple Lock Beginner's Guide to Picking series. Um, in the first part, we looked at um, sorts of dimple locks that you can find, what a dimple lock is, and how you would um, preferentially pick it with specialised equipment like these dimple flags. So go check out part one if you haven't already seen it. Um, part two I wanted to dedicate to something which I just can't see many videos on on YouTube, which is um, using dimple rakes. A lot of people buy uh, a 24-piece Goso kit and don't know what half of these things really are. They think there's some kind of like, um, uh, you know, half diamond raking set for pin tumbler locks. And yeah, you can use them for that. Um, but these are actually dimple rakes specifically for dimple locks. Apart from, of course, this um, half snowman pick, which um, you can use to, to rake dimple locks too, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. But just look at these um, dimple rakes, and if you do um, have a look for one of those Goso 24-piece kits, you will get a set of these in there. And it comes with a very thin shafted half diamond like this, and then a, a double half diamond with, with a certain frequency um, spacing between the two peaks, and then again a double with a wider frequency, and then you've got a triple peak with um, again, a certain frequency between them, and a sawtooth um, rake. One thing they've all got in common is very thin shafts, and I'll talk to you about why that is uh, in a second. Okay, so one interesting feature about dimple locks, if you look at the key, is that the actual, it, for most standard ones, apart from those things like uh, made by Carber and other um, makers which have multiple lines of uh, dimples, is, but you'll notice on standard keys you get one line of um, of, of cuts or of teeth um, along the centre. That corresponds with a groove um, in the dimple locks themselves. So if I pull this one up, you can see that uh, where the pins are located, there there is a uh, a groove where those pins are located. If I just take um, this other dimple lock you can see that groove in the center is where the pins are located so you can run a dimple rake down that groove there we go and rake back and forth this is what they're for the reason why they've got very very thin shafts is because um, as you can see here the pins on a dimple lock rest right at the top um, any thickness of metal here actually pushes down on the pins. So if you've got a zero lift pin, you won't be able to rake it, you'll be oversetting that pin. And I said all dimple locks are the same to a degree in that they have a groove down the centre which you could put could put a um, a dimple rake down the centre of. It actually guides the rake, which is really nice of it. Like I said, not all dimple locks can be raked, but some can. And I'd like to demonstrate to you um, that technique using a dimple lock, um, which can be raked using this frequency of um, dimple rake peaks. Of course, as standard, you don't know what you're going to need, so you would go through um, your rake set in turn, trying to find the one which works best. Um, this one here just happens to work well on um, this particular practice padlock which is great because it means you can see what's actually happening on the inside so let's load that up into the device don't have to be too heavy-handed um, we talked about tensioning um, but we only need very 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 light tension so with um, a, a sort of keyway like that again I want to avoid tensioning down here in case I jam the core I'd really rather tension um, actually within the warding so I'm just going to use a standard L wrench in there to add very light tension then I'm going to slide um, this rake down the centre of this lock. Now, careful not to twist it, because what you'll end up doing is you'll trap um, these uh, peaks actually be behind pins, and it'll be very hard to extract it. So the trick here is to keep it um, vertical at all times as you slide it in and out. So don't get too vigorous and watch what you're doing. And I'm going to add light tension, slide in this dimple rake, um, so I, I try not to slide in with any tension on first to make sure I get the positioning just right. 
he says. There we go, it can be tricky. And again, we're just going to um, rate back and forth um, in a very linear uh, control motion. Um, and we're just going to just scrub the tops of these pins um, to try and get a an open for you. And there we go, we've just got that open. Um, so yes, you can rake um, dimple locks and there are some specialised dimple rakes out there. If you don't have specialised dimple rake then you can use other things including small half diamonds and things like this half um, uh, ball snowman. So let's try and uh, move this up and see if we can actually um, use a half ball snowman to do the same thing. Um, even if I don't pick it I'll show you that um, this should be small enough to get inside um, so a, a dimple lock um, if I can get it in and and rake the uh, the tops of the pins okay so sometimes these um, half ball snowmen can be used but I generally find that um, the uh, actual dimple rakes I've heard these called as wave rakes as well um, again they can be used to actually just get in there and uh, and rake these locks open so um, so there you go so if you ever wondered what on earth in your 24 piece Gozo kit these are, these wave rakes, um, which again can be used in standard pin tumblers, but these are dimple rakes and are designed to be uh, used on dimple locks that can accommodate them and um, I think they work quite well. Okay, I'll see you next time.